Welcome to another running video, running vlog of my uh, journey to the marathon. There's plenty of videos going back on there to watch from my gradual progression during the training. So today's video is just basically is covering the track session, the recovery run, and possibly the Thursday run, but this might be too long, so. I might have to do a separate video for that for tomorrow because uh, I've got a little bit of an idea how to make it a little bit more interesting than just running around in circles and sit cup. So uh, anyway, I'll leave it to you. So if you like, give me a thumbs up and it'd be great if you could subscribe. So here we are, and the uh, Sutcliffe Park again. Just doing me warm up now. I'll uh, just get it going a little bit. Then I'll quickly do a little uh, explain what we're doing tonight, session-wise. So uh, tonight's session is a is what we call a pyramid session. So we're starting off at 400, one lap. Then we do a 200 recovery, and then we do an 800, 200 recovery, then a 12, same again, and then a 1600, and then back down the other way. So 12, 8, and 400. So sounds quite an easy session, but no doubt it'll feel harder than what it sounds. So uh, yeah, so it should be a good one tonight. Change of pace. It's probably quite important if you can manage it. I'm not quite sure how my legs are going to be after my uh, half marathon weekend. Obviously, I'm still feeling tired from that, but at the same time, I'm on a bit of a high as well because obviously I ran so well for that. So all the hard work, training I've been putting in, being sensible with my recoveries and taking it easy when. I'll get them little niggles, just sort of stepping off a little bit, all counts towards hopefully making the start line in the marathon in a few weeks time, four weeks, under four weeks now. So there's lots of reasons to be doing track sessions really, loads of benefits. I can run off a list as long as my arm, but I would say the number one is purely to get fitter, get stronger. Because um, so if you're running your efforts, so they're always going to be a lot faster than your marathon or your, your race pace, for example. So it's really important to do these sessions because it just gets you used to running outside, outside your comfort zone. So your body adapts and obviously you're working so much harder your fitness levels are just gonna go up and up and up if you keep them going. There's no way in a million years I could have run uh, Sunday's half marathon at the pace I did without these track sessions. So anybody who's thinking of doing a quick marathon, well, anybody thinking of doing any sort of race from 5K upwards, you need to do track sessions. You haven't got to do on the track you can find a bit of grass or a nice path measure it out and then just sort yourself out of the session so the old daffodils coming out that's always a sign that the marathon is getting closer
So anyway, there it goes again tonight. Legs are loosened off a little bit now. Thank God, felt stiff as anything to start off with. So I'm just gonna quickly change my shoes and uh, do another lap. Have a sort of bit of a more of a warm up and then just see how it all goes. So I'm sticking with the old shoes tonight. Uh, just purely because I only raced on Sunday. So I don't want to take no chances. I've still got plenty of time to break in the new ones. So uh, I'll give it, give it another few days before I wear them. Could even wear them tomorrow morning maybe on the recovery. So uh, yeah, just trying to keep things as sensible as possible. That's another track session done. That went really, really well considering after after Sunday's half marathon. I should have been a lot tighter than what I was, but it felt pretty good to be fair. I'll have a look at the splits when I get in. So I'm just gonna change my shoes and do a little bit of a warm down. All right, that's the warm up done. Just got back to the car, get me a uh, little change of clothes, get myself home with something to eat. Something to drink, a couple of hours of TV and then off to bed. Up early in the morning for my recovery run. So I see you all there and I'll give you a rundown, proper rundown of how tonight went to my morning on the recovery. Cheers, bye. Morning all. Wednesday morning on the usual recovery. I say usual, this could be the last one now because uh, the gardening stuff's really coming back quick now. So next week, I've got a pretty much full week this week. I've got time to do my run tomorrow morning. And then after that, next week, it's gonna be difficult to get these recovery runs squeezed in. So I've got to come to some sort of, uh, I might have to either do it after work or, um, or get up early and do it early in the morning. But I don't think that's a good idea because that's too soon after the track then. It's not enough time for the, body to recover a little bit so I've got a bit of thinking about how I'm going to do that so I'm keeping the uh, as per usual keeping the heart rate nice and low because it is just a recovery run no need to look at the pace at all the watch is just set for heart rate So I was really pleased last night with the, how the session went. I was expecting to have really heavy legs. I can't say the legs were any excuse really, they felt fine considering that all my splits were bang on really. Uh, the, uh, the 400s were low 80, I'd like say low 80s, uh, 85 ish. And then the 800 sub sub six minute mile in so is the 12 the uh the four laps which was the mile was about 605 but i was happy with that because then i managed to pick up the pace again for the uh for the 12 and then quicker for the eight and even quicker for the last 400 so i was really pleased with that So there you go. It's the importance of having a heart rate monitor for these recovery runs. I can't think of any other any other point of them really. They're just brilliant for recovery runs because I've just noticed heart rate was just slightly going above my easy recovery mode. So I've just slowed it down a little bit. Straight away it's brought it back down into the uh, recovery zone, the blue zone. So I think it's quite pretty handy having that feature. Uh, I used to rely on the, the WIS uh, sensor but I ended up investing in a strap, a chest strap because they're obviously a lot more accurate to get a better idea. I don't like using them for racing. I, I, it scared the life out of me. I used to look at my me, me, uh, heart rate during a race so I don't take any notice of it at all. 